question is gear A has a mass of 20 kg and radius of gyration of 100 mm while gear B has a mass of 3 kg and radius of gyration is 90 mm the system is at rest when couple m of magnitude 6 uh, newton meter is applied to gear b negating friction determine uh, the number of revolution executed by gear b before its angular velocity is become uh, 60 uh, 600 uh, revolution per minute and the tangential force which gear b exert on gear a so it is the figure of gear a and gear b and r a is given that is uh, radius of uh, the first gear is given uh, 250 mm and the radius of b is given 100 mm so first uh, given is mass of a is given 20 kg and radius of gyration of a is that is k a is given 100 mm so this is a uh, 0.1 meter and m of uh, b is given uh, 3 kg and k b is given 90 mm so this is 0.09 meter now uh, the moment of inertia i a is given by m k a square so m a is uh, 20 into k is 0 0.1 square so this is uh, 0 0.2 kg meter square and i b is given by m b k b square so this is 3 into 0 0.09 square so this is 3 into 0 0.09 square is 0 0.0243 kg meter square now we have to find uh, the number of revolution executed by uh, gear b before its angular velocity becomes uh, 600 revolution per minute so omega b is given 600 revolution per minute so changing into rad per second 600 into 2 pi by 60 uh, so uh, this is 10 20 pi so this is 26 pi is 62.83 rad per second and we have to find omega a so in this case case uh, the periphery speed of uh, this two gear is equal so that means the very very speed of gear uh, a and b is equal so uh, that means r a omega a is equal to r b omega b cause uh, b is equal to r omega so r a is given uh, 0.25 into omega a is we have to find and this is 0 0.1 into and rb and omega b is uh, 62.83 so this implies omega e is 0 0.1 into 62.83 upon 0 0.24 so this is 0 0.4 into 62.83 into 0 0.4 so this is uh, 25.13 rad per second so uh, this is the our first answer now uh, in second question b the tangential force which gear b exert on gear a so uh, this is a gear a and uh, this is a tangential force f and uh, this is a radius of gear a and and weight arcs downward and this is a reaction ay so uh, in this case we use the conservation of uh, energy so initially t1 that is kinetic energy at initial condition is 0 and t2 is 1 by 2 omega 
a square i a so uh, this is 1 by 2 into i a is 0 0.2 into omega a is we find 25.13 square so this is uh, 63.15 joule now uh, and uh, the network u12 is given by the tangential force into theta a into r a so by using uh, conservation of energy u12 is uh, t2 minus t1 so f into theta a into r a is equal to 63.15 so for that we need uh, the value of theta a so for that uh, initially uh, the gear is at uh, rest so we can say t1 is 1 by 2 m a b a square minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 m b b b square is equal to 0 and t2 kind energy t2 is given by 1 by 2 i a omega a square plus 1 by 2 i b omega b square so this is 1 by 2 into 0 0.2 into 25.13 square plus 1 by 2 2 into IB is uh, 0 0.0243 into omega B is uh, 62.83 square so this gonna be this is 63.15 plus this is uh, 62.83 square into 0 0.0243 uh, divided by 2 plus 63.15 so this is 111.1 one, one, one one joule now we know since uh, here is a couple the system is at rest when couple m of magnitude 6 n meter is applied to gear b so net work is given by m theta b uh, since the couple m of magnitude 6 uh, newton meter is applied to gear b so u12 is uh, 6 theta b now using a conservation of uh, energy we get uh, t2 is equal to t1 plus u12 so u12 is uh, t2 minus t1 and u12 is 6 theta b is equal to 111.1 so theta b is divided by 6 uh, that is 18.5 rad now motion of gear a and the motion of gear a is equal to motion of gear b so that means uh, theta a into r a is equal to theta b into r b so this implies uh, theta a is we have to find and r a is uh, 0 0.25 uh, is equal to theta b is 18.5 into this is 0 0.1 so this implies uh, theta a is into 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.25 this is a uh, 7.4 rad now from uh, this expression f into theta a is 7.4 into r a is 0 0.25 is equal to 63.14 so f is equal to 63.14 divided by uh, divided by 0 0.25 so 34.094 newton is our required tangential force so that's the metal uh, to solve this question